What's going on everyone, Bran here from Bloody Breakdown, and I wanted to introduce a new concept for videos that I'm going to be starting today and doing in the future that I'm going to be called In Defense Of. Uh, basically the idea and premise of this is I'm going to take something that I have generally viewed in the horror community at large as to be something that I, I guess most people have a negative connotation of. Most people think uh, poorly of whatever the topic may be. Um, and I am going to make a defense for whatever that may be. Now, it's not going to be me being pulling something out of my ass. These are going to be things that I actually truly believe. So, it, it, essentially unpopular opinions here. And I'm going to make a case for said unpopular opinion. So, with the premise out of the way, as you can see from the title, today we're going to be talking about the probably the most hated, despised character definitely not in all of the Halloween franchise because Tina exists um, Buster Rhymes's character uh, Freddie Harris exists exists as well uh, today I'm going to be talking about the most despised uh, reviled character from Halloween 2018 from Blumhouse Dr. Sartain um, a lot of people absolutely positively cannot stand this character and I'll be honest with you the first time that I watched the film I didn't like him either, especially when that twist came. And you know what? I'll say spoiler alert before we get into this any further, but let's be real. It's been almost two years since this movie came out. If you haven't seen it yet, what are you doing with your life? Um, especially here on this channel. If you're a horror fan, you haven't seen Blumhouse's Halloween, what the fuck? Uh, but yes, they're going to be spoilers, um, as I believe most of these videos probably will. Uh, so, like I said, the first time I saw this film, I was not a fan of Dr. Sartain. First and foremost, Dr. Loomis's shoes are way too big to fill for anybody to ever come close. Uh, so I'm not gonna defend that Dr. Sartain is on par with Dr. Loomis. No, that's not what's happening here. What I am going to do is, uh, put my case forward that he is an interesting and, um, entertaining character and that I believe he was well written. So let's start off with the fact that everyone, uh, you, know, you know, everyone hates the character, but has anyone really stopped to think for a second that Dr. Loomis in various um, aspects, I suppose, of the original uh, films wasn't exactly always a good guy himself. I mean, I guess what I'm trying to get at is Michael Myers, as a case study, as a patient, has proven time and time again to drive his psychiatrist insane. Case in point, Dr. Loomis, throughout the entire series that he was a part of it, was a raving lunatic. He's running around Haddonfield, uh, waving guns, causing the death of Ben Tramer inadvertently. Um, grabbing a, an eight-year-old in, in Halloween 5 and using her as bait to lure Michael Myers, who actively wants to murder this child, to a trap. Dr. Loomis lost his shit <laughs> trying to uh, understand and later contain Michael. The same thing has happened to Dr. Sartain, and that's painfully obvious to me, and I don't think a lot of people understand that, or maybe they don't want to put in the time to understand it because they don't like the character. Like I said earlier, I didn't like Dr. Sartain when I first watched the film. There was a point in the film when I said, oh no, is Michael dead and Sartain in a sling with a bullet wound going to become the new antagonist of this film? Which obviously didn't happen. But let's look at Dr. Sartain, because he is kind of the catalyst for Michael uh, being unleashed in Halloween 2018. Uh, Dr. Loomis understood that Michael had to be contained because he was pure evil. And Loomis, for all his faults, was a good person, um, at least as far as what we know about him. Sartain, on the other hand, uh, his ethics are going to come into question, regardless of how you feel about him, like him or not like him. 
uh, for the simple fact that he wants to know more about Michael so much to the point that where he will unleash him knowingly into the wild, as he said. Loomis had uh, Loomis had time with Michael during his childhood. He watched him grow into an adult, and he felt in his heart of hearts, Michael was just purely evil, and there was no redemption. There was no need to further study him, and he just needed to be locked away and contained. Sartain, on the other hand, felt that there was a lot to be learned from Michael. And I believe that in the 40 years or so, how, I, I don't know exactly how long he was on the study with him uh, as his doctor or working with Loomis. I imagine it was several decades, obviously. He felt there was more to learn about Michael. And, and this is brought up later on, early in the film, actually, uh, when the podcasters are talking to Lori about, you know, what can be learned from these situations? What can be learned from Michael and Lori? Sartain wants to know what Michael is like, quote-unquote, in the wild. He wants to observe that. Because Sartain, uh, like Loomis, both had very um, questionable methods. Uh, Loomis had no, absolutely no um, regard to try to rehabilitate Michael after a certain point. Sartain, I don't believe, is really interested in rehabilitating Michael. I think he wants to study him um, maybe whether it be for, you know, publishing his own papers, his own fame, um, maybe something along those lines. But where Loomis wanted to see him contained, because he felt there was no need to continue uh, uh, any kind of uh, study on Michael. He was a lost cause. He was just evil. That's, that's what he was to Loomis. I think Sartain thought that he, it was a good case study. And he wanted to unleash him, obviously. And he wanted to see what it was like. Uh, to, to, to see Michael in the wild. Maybe there was a bit of uh, jealousy there between my um, Sartain and, and, and Loomis, seeing what Loomis actually got to see. Um, <clears throat> Sartain was just a different kind of doctor. And I think the point I'm trying to make here, and I did allude to it earlier, is uh, being Michael's psychiatrist has proven to drive people almost just as insane as Michael himself. I like Sartain's character, not because he's a good guy, he's obviously not, but because it continues the tradition that Halloween set forward that these doctors damn near go just as crazy as Michael, if Michael even is insane. I guess that's up for debate. Um, but I think it's interesting that instead of giving us, like Lori said, a new Loomis, they gave us another doctor who had very different motives, who was so alike and yet so different from Loomis in Halloween 2018. Um, Sartain had been driven to that point Loomis had, but arrived at different conclusions, and their priorities were very different. Um, although both of them were absolutely, totally obsessed with Michael, what they wanted to gain from being uh, Michael's psychiatrist, Michael's doctor, couldn't be different. So that's kind of how I feel about the film. When I look back and I watch, um, like I said, the first time I watched the film, did not like Sartain. But I saw a lot of hate about him. Um, and at first I totally agreed. But the more I watch Halloween 2018, the more I see that what I describe in this video is exactly what I feel like the filmmakers were going for. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, there, there's a piece of me that wishes Sartain's head hadn't been flattened into the concrete in Halloween 2018. I know a lot of people are like, you know, I really hope Hawkins comes back. Um, and I agree. There's a lot of uh, potential with a character who was there to arrest Michael in 1978, according to this timeline. I also think there's a lot of potential with Sartain as well. So I really wish he hadn't have died. And I know in this video and several of these in defense of videos to come, I'm going to probably get some hate. That's fine. As long as everyone is respectful about it, we can talk about our ideas about this character, this film, what have you. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is how I feel about Dr. Sartain. I feel he is a very interesting character. I feel that uh, the Halloween franchise has, pr has done a really good job of keeping, no matter how many uh, universes, so to speak, or how many different storylines we get. One thing remains the same, 
and that is that Michael Myers, his psychiatrists become obsessed with him. And that manifests in several different ways. It may manifest in a uh, overprotection of keeping him where he is because you know what he is, or it could manifest as set him free because I wanna see for myself what he's capable of. Sartain had heard what he was capable of. He had probably seen pictures, he had read the case studies, but he didn't know for a fact what he was capable of. And he wanted to see for himself as a man who wanted to learn as much as he could about Michael and about different uh, mental illnesses, I suppose. So there you go, that's how I feel about Sartain. I feel like the character was pretty well written. I enjoy his character now, and that's come a long way from originally when I despised his character, like a lot of you probably still do. I hope that hearing this from me maybe can change some people's minds about this character, because I honestly feel like he gets a lot of crap that really he just doesn't deserve. And I think a lot of it has to do with that strange twist when he stabs Hawkins and, you know, if it, you know tries to drive Michael to Lori or whatever. You know, he really wants... In a lot of ways, before I depart, I want to say this. In a lot of ways, Sartain is trying to accomplish what we all as the moviegoer want to see. So I really don't see why everyone doesn't like the guy. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Th the most important part of all this is you all. I want you all to comment down below in the comment section. Let me know what you all think about Dr. Sartain. Do you agree with me? Highly doubt it. Maybe some of you do. Do you disagree with me? Whatever the case may be, leave your comments down below and let's have a discussion about a very controversial, infamous character from Blumhouse's Halloween 2018. So with that said, in addition to leaving some comments and us having a little discussion about this, why don't you also leave a like on this video, even if you don't like Sartain, give me a like if you enjoy my work. If you haven't already and you're a horror fan, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell next door so you can turn on notifications and you will be notified every time I go live or upload right here at Bloody Breakdown. Like I said, if you're a horror fan, this is the place to be, ladies and gents. And also check down below in the description section, you'll see some links to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You'll even see my Patreon account where you can support my work if that's something that you would do um, if that's something you like to do, I'd be greatly appreciative of it. And also, keep in mind, everyone, I am growing ever so close to that 1,000 subscriber mark where I'll be able to monetize, I guess, once I hit the watch hours, uh, which I shouldn't be too far from that. I'll also be able to do community posts. Uh, we'll be able to do some super chats. Uh, maybe get the channel growing a little bit more. So, um, if you know any horror fans out there, please, by all means, share my work with them. That's also greatly appreciated as well. So, with that said, I'm Bran from Bloody Breakdown. This has been In Defense of Dr. Sartain. And we'll catch you all next time.